Hey everyone, John here from Hand of Kaliak, talking through my list of four most inspirational albums for the Metal Crypt. For those that don't know, as we play a blend of uh, melodic death metal with Scottish folk influences, and our second album, Cory Vrakin, came out in February uh, via US based uh, Prosthetic Records. Uh, our style is often described as pretty unusual, and I think a big part of that is due to the varied influences um, from both Soph and myself. Um, and I think it was really good to sit down and have a think about the most impactful and inspirational albums that not only driven our writing, um, but that we really just enjoy uh, and rate highest as, as listeners. Um, and I'm sure that some of my lists will be familiar to you, but maybe you'll find something a little bit different and a little bit new here too. Uh, so first up, uh, Fallujah with uh, Dreamless. Uh, if you've seen any of our previous interviews, you might know I'm a huge fan of Fallujah. And while their previous album, The Flesh Prevails, um, seems to get a lot more love, I found the atmosphere in the 2016 Dreamless really, really outstanding. Um, it was the first album that really showed us that ethereal vocals can work really well uh, with extreme metal, despite how jarring that might seem uh, on paper. There's of course like plenty of examples out there of more powerful operatic type vocals being contrasted with harsh ones, um, including any number of like symphonic metal outfits. But the much more haunting additions from Tori Letzner and uh, Katie Thompson on Dreamless were something really, really quite different that we really enjoyed. We've heavily leaned that contrast into our sound, and uh, this album is more of a just front to back, uh, incredibly immersive listen. Um, love it. Second up is Mastodon with Leviathan. Uh, I sometimes forget my age uh, and the fact that Mastodon's second full length came out uh, 20 years ago, uh, but it's still absolutely fantastic to my ears. The complexity of the guitar riffs, the technically phenomenal drumming, uh, and the rough and rasping sort of vocals all combined to give the album this urgent, frantic energy. Um, and the absolute power in the opening of uh, Blood and Thunder is like one of my all-time favourites and really sets the tone for the whole album. Third up is Cradle of Filth uh, with Damnation in a Day. Um, Cradle of Filth were probably the first extreme metal band that both Soph and I had listened to when we were teens. And while our favourites have definitely changed since then, um, to me this album remains a really great example of what is possible when you bring in tons of orchestral and choir arrangements to complement but not overpower that really searing extreme metal sound and instrumentation. And while I totally accept that this is not the most favourite with fans uh, out of their album um, selections. Uh, I, the intensity and pace they drive with the trams and the blast beats just balanced really incredibly well with the softer orchestral dynamics um, all bathed in that sort of gloriously dark and heavy atmosphere. And finally, uh, the one I'd like to share is Deftones, um, Around the Fur. Um, do I take inspiration from a writing perspective from this album? Probably not a huge amount in terms of songwriting, but um, do I really, really enjoy listening to it? Absolutely. Um, this was probably the first, or one of the first metal albums I picked up as a kid. Served as a gateway into the much more extreme stuff I'm into today. Um, but unlike a lot of the gateway albums that I did listen to, um, this one still really works for me. Uh, there's a uniqueness to the Deftones sound that no one else can quite emulate. And if there's one thing I do take inspiration from in this record, it's, have, it's to have the confidence in making something a little bit different, uh, a little bit out there and, and not stick to convention. So that's my list of four. Um, thanks very much for listening and checking it out. And thanks to uh, the Metal Crypt for inviting us to come on. All the best.